You ready? I'm ready. Set the warp. How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Retro Rewind Days of Old. We are on game... 6, I think? No, game 5. Game 5. Uh, we're talking Super Mario Bros. 3 for NES. Uh, and I'm here with Cupcake's father, Ken. What's up, Ken? Not much, you? Not much. We've only been playing this game for like an hour before this. Yeah, and either that, the last time I played I was 19. <laughs> so what was it like playing it again after so long? Hard. Yeah, it looked like you were struggling. <laughs> um, do you remember anything about it when you first played it? Like, what? what's the first memory that comes to mind? Oh, just the fun of it. Because back, back then, this was the system to have. This was the games to have. Right. These were the graphics. These were the great graphics. Back then. <laughs> They're not anymore. <laughs> no. These are boring to you guys, all you young ones. I don't know, I still enjoy them. I don't know if I'd go as far as Atari, but I still enjoy Nintendo. Were you more of a Nintendo kid or Sega Genesis? Nintendo. Never had a Sega. You ever see the old commercials where, like, Sega would come out with Sonic and they'd be like, Sega can do this, but Nintendo can't, and they'd, like, crash talk each other? No, I don't remember them. No? <laughs> no. Be something to see, though. So, did, have you played all all three of these? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, and they got better as they went along. Like most games, in that they usually get better as they go along. Yeah. Um. I know Super Super Mario World. They did the the cape for flying, and this one they did the what was it a raccoon? The raccoon tail and ears. So what do you think you prefer, the raccoon tail or the the cape? I know the cape, you had to like dip down and come up. Yeah. I kind of like the cape one myself, but the raccoon, you gotta change it up a little bit. Like, you gotta change it up for people, not or you just get bored of the same stuff. Did you beat it back in the day? Yep. Yeah, I, yeah, I can honestly say I played it long enough to, to beat it. I haven't beaten a Super Mario Bro game ever. <laughs> <laughs> the wife and I used to play them all the time, and we would sit there and he would play the easy stuff, I got stuck playing the hard stuff. <laughs> makes, it makes sense. Makes sense. Now I know where Cupcake gets it from. <laughs> <laughs> so, the game came out February 12, 1990 for uh, NES. Um, it was first released on Famicom, I'm assuming is another console in Japan, 1988. Um, I think, if I remember correctly, I don't know if it was this one or the second one. And I don't, I don't know if you knew this, Ken, but um, when this first came out in Japan, they thought that it was too hard for Americans, so they actually dumbed it down a little bit. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> um, back, back in my day, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't really that hard. So, yeah, they must have dumbed it down a lot. <laughs> if they're saying it was hard. I would have liked to try the Japan ones then. Yeah, I think... I'm not sure if you can still get them. I know this one's still... I think to buy the actual copy of this, like the hard copy, it's a pretty penny now. Oh, I can imagine. I've heard some of the older games and that are really expensive now. So, back in the day when you used to play it with your wife, did you do the two-player where she was like Luigi, or did you just go back and forth with Mary? We just went back and forth. Like I said, she did the easy stuff, I did the hard stuff. <laughs> <laughs> then I would play it by myself when she wasn't around, and... That way I knew I could solve it myself and not have to keep switching off. Oh, here, here's the hard stuff, do it. Right, right, right. So, this game was remade. I didn't know this. This game was remade for Super Nintendo. Um, as a part of the Super Mario All-Stars in 1993. Huh. I didn't even know it was remade. No, I thought, I thought that. this was it. Um, I always loved watching the... Um, the war between Sega and Nintendo, because Sega had Sonic. 
which yeah. was Sega's answer to Super Mario. And, uh, just those commercials. I gotta show you the commercial after this, because it's just hilarious. They trash talk Nintendo, the whole thing. Oh, I can imagine that. <laughs> oh, they gotta sell their system, right? So, of course, they're gonna try and say, oh, my system's better than that system, and so right. on and so on. Uh, it's the same thing today. Yeah, oh yeah. I don't... I prefer Super Mario World for Super Nintendo, out of the first three. Ah. Which I've, I've played the first three. The first one out of the three is probably my favorite one. I usually like the first one of this series, and that too. I'm with you. First ones are usually the best. Yeah. But they get better as they go. But I'm always old school, like to go back to the original. Yeah. I just find that when they make the first games of pretty much anything, you put more heart and just more into it because yeah. it, it needs to sell. And then the second time around, it just it carries its name, so they don't have to try as hard. Right, they don't have to try as hard, and they kind of just mimic what they put on the first one. Change a couple little things. Right. Like, I've seen it where some boards look almost ex identical. From yeah. From the first to the third. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, one thing... I'm kind of curious on what you, what you think about this. So, the one thing I enjoy about retro games... Even though half the games... That I've played, I wasn't even born when they came out. Um... Is that nowadays... When a game comes out, you download it online, and then if it sucks, they do updates to make it better, and then eventually over time, it becomes better. Whereas in the classics from Nintendo, to say, PlayStation 2, if it sucked when it released, it sucked forever. Yeah. And uh, I think that's what makes retro games more enjoyable, mm -hmm. because if it released good, it was it was always good. My only problem, like, say, with Mario Brothers now, when they started bringing up the Mario's cart, and those kind of oh, games. Right. Stick with Mario Brothers, the Super Mario Brothers, uh, don't go into the cart games. Yeah. So you came up with the... You, you grew up with the 2D. What did you think of, um... Mario 64? Or Nintendo 64, it was 3D. Did you play that one? I tried it. My problem is, is too much graphics and stuff for me. Oh, I'm right. too busy yeah. watching the graphics than I am watching what I'm actually doing. Right, right. I used to watch my son play, and and I could watch the graphics more than watching what he was doing. Yeah. Because <laughs> there was so much to watch. Because it was so realistic. And even nowadays, when you go even further into the games, they're so realistic in that I can't play them. Oh, yeah, that's brutal. Now, some of them look like movies to me. Yeah. Well, that's it. They look like movies where 2D... As you call it? Yeah. yeah. I find it's easier for me, being older. Right. Right. Um, okay. This, that's great. I don't, I don't really have much more to say about the game, because I didn't play a whole lot of it. Um, you think you're going to play a little more before you leave the house today? Oh, probably. I'll give it a try. <laughs> I can't get past level 3 now, where I solved it back then. That's okay, I can't get past level 4, apparently. And, uh, we're watching it right now, so... As you just saw, I died right at the end, because I didn't get past that tall wall at the end of it. Yeah. I think you had to jump on that those flying... I don't even know what they are. Turtles? Yeah. Flying turtles? Yeah. Uh, yeah, the ones that bounce the hearts. Oh, the mushrooms. The flying mushrooms. I think. Those red ones? No, the one, the ones with the shells. The turtles, right? Yeah, the turtles, yeah. yeah. Turtles in a half shell. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. That was uh, Super Mario World or Super Mario Bros. Three for NES. Um, if you want to check out the aftermath for Sonic the Hedgehog that released uh, yesterday at 5 a.m. So if you didn't get to catch it, head over to the archives and and check that out. You can also check out the video version of this, where you can see some of the gameplay that we're watching uh, while you listen to the podcast on YouTube. And uh, I'll be streaming this Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, I've been practicing, so hopefully I can get a little further. And, uh, yeah, so Ken, thank you so much for doing this with me. Appreciate yeah, it. You're welcome. And uh, maybe, we'll get fun. You, maybe we'll get you in again when we do some Zelda. Yeah, I'm in for Zelda. <laughs> There's the game to play. The original Zelda. Take care, everybody. Thanks so much. <laughs>
Good. That was good. Yeah. You did good. Yeah. You're a natural. Yeah. <laughs>